Okay, so I just wanted to do a short little video um, to my first day, um, just to kind of go over what I was talking about in my last email. Um, so when I'm talking about markers, I'm talking about a cue or a sound that marks a, I think it's a specific moment in time that I like something, and that will announce the arrival of food, a food reward. Um, so in order for that to really mean anything, we have to create an association between the two events. So essentially what I'm doing right now is I will deliver that cue or that marker, and then I will present food so that she can come take that reinforcement. So over time, those associations will be created and she'll learn that when she hears that marker, that food is happening. So then at some point it will, uh, when she goes into, she, when she does something that I like, um, I can mark that moment in time um, and that will, the marker will then take on the good feeling of food. So she will, it'll help her want to continue to do that behavior. It'll help put value in the behavior that she's doing so that she continues to do that for me. Um, I start out with that and then um, once she's pretty consistent with the thing going into the behavior that I like, then I start naming the behaviors or putting a command on them. So right now we're not doing a lot with commands. I'm just getting her used to taking food for me from following my hand around. Um, it's something that she's getting more and more confident with. Initially, she kind of was a little reserved. She wasn't liking uh, following me around. If I made any abrupt movements, she kind of would just stick a little farther away from me. Um, not so much fear, just uncertainty of what I was asking. So she's come a long way. Uh, the dog I worked with before her left food all over the ground. Uh, so that's what she's doing right now. She's just kind of walking around and picking up scraps. So I just kind of wanted to just do a quick little demonstration. It's not perfect yet by any means. Um, she still has obviously a very long way to go, um, but I'm very happy with her progress and how much she's come out of her shell. Um, so I'm just gonna go over the different markers that I've been using. The first one is uh, the clicker. So all it is is a little mechanical clicker. And then when she hears that, she can come take food for me. That's the main one that I've been using so far. Um, and then we get into luring, which is just my hand filled with foods. And I want her to get used to following it around. And then when she's moving the way that I want her to, I mark with that click. Another marker that I'm using is the, oh, the word good and okay. Um, right now they're gonna mean pretty much the same thing, but eventually good, that good, that good, Okay, that good is going to be something that I use to build duration and behavior. So right now I'm just creating the association that good means what's happening. Um, okay is gonna be something, okay, meaning that she can come up out of behavior. So down the line, when we're giving her a command and she goes into behavior, I'll use the word good to show her that I like that, and then I want her to remain in that behavior until I give that release word, which is okay. So we just have to teach what the words mean first. Um, I'm just starting to play around a little bit with the word no. Um, and I'm right now I'm really saving it for uh, like jumping and, and pulling and things like that. So anytime I need to um, counter a movement with leash pressure, I'll just say the word no to create that association. So if she comes to jump up on me, Ashley. Hi. Hello. No. Good. I'm just going to say the word no and pair with a light leash pressure away from me. So. Um, because she doesn't exactly know what she's supposed to be doing, I don't really want to correct anything just yet. That'll, that's not very fair. So um, I'm just simply very lightly uh, creating the association with no means leash pressure is happening. So as we progress, it'll mean more, but I want to make sure she knows what I'm asking her first before I start um, telling her she can't do something. So um, that's really it so far. Uh, again, we've all been working for three days, but I kind of just like threw an email at you that didn't really explain too much. So I had already known that I was going to do a video the next today. So um, hopefully this kind of goes a little bit more detail for you. All right, Ashley. Yay,